The battle between the richest man in the world and the owners of the National Enquirer. And tonight here, a new term. Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos accusing the National Enquirer of extortion and bribery, saying they threatened him with compromising photos. Tonight here, possible word where those images came from. Here's ABC's Amy Robach. Tonight, new questions about just who leaked texts and photos between the world's richest man, Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, and his reported girlfriend, Lauren Sanchez. The story was given to the National Enquirer by a reliable source. It was a source that was well known to both Mr. Bezos and Ms. Sanchez. The National Enquirer refusing to identify the source, but the Daily Beast reports it was Sanchez's own brother, Michael, a vocal supporter of President Trump. In his bombshell blog post, Bezos accused the publication of threatening to release explicit photos unless he stopped his investigation into how the Enquirer got the photos and publicly declare he has no knowledge or basis the coverage was politically motivated or influenced by political forces. The attorney for the chairman of the tabloid's parent company, David Pecker, a longtime friend of the president, denying those allegations in an interview with George. Jeff Bezos says extortion, blackmail. It's, it, is, it absolutely is not extortion and not blackmail. As for Sanchez's brother, he's denied he was involved in exposing his sister's affair, but tells the Washington Post, which is owned by Bezos, the Inquirer set out to do a takedown to make Trump happy, an allegation the National Enquirer has denied. And Amy's with us now. Always great to have you, Amy. I know while the new focus tonight might be on who leaked those text messages, the photos to the National Enquirer, the other major question in this case is whether or not federal prosecutors are still looking into what Bezos' claims are here. Yeah, and the answer to that question, David, is they are. Federal prosecutors reviewing Bezos' accusations of extortion and blackmail. They are going to look at every communication between the two sides to determine whether the National Enquirer violated the immunity deal they already have with prosecutors by committing a crime. David. Amy Robach with us on a Monday night. Amy, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.